I think it's 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Um, West Coast. Uh, the hearing on the status of the uh, we're going to have, I guess, the oral arguments, I should say, of the state of Washington versus Trump. Um, it's going to be uh, with James Browning, and I guess the question is going to be whether or not he will continue the stay, undo the stay, as the case goes forward. It's unclear. But um, here is from Friday's hearing. And Robart uh, issues this uh, nationwide restraining order, as you know, blocking the travel ban. Um, he, well, here, let's listen to this exchange between a, um, uh, U.S. attorney, I believe she is. How many arrests have there been of foreign nationals for those seven countries since 9-11? Your Honor, I don't have that information. I'm from the civil division, if that, if that helps <laughs> get me off the hook any. <laughs> well, let me tell you, the answer to that is none, as best I can tell. Pause it. Now, I imagine he's referring to specifically uh, on charges of attempted terrorism as opposed to um, just general arrests for... Grabbing a woman's generals, as an example. Right. Maybe something like that. So, I mean, you know, you're, you're here arguing on behalf of someone that says we have to protect the United States from these individuals coming from these countries and... and there, there's no support for that. Your Honor, I think the point is that because this is a question of foreign affairs, because this is an, an area where Congress has delegated authority to the President to make these determinations, it's the President that gets to make the determinations, and the Court doesn't have authority to look behind those determinations. They're essentially like determinations that are committed to agency discretion. Well, um, and we do think that, uh, despite plaintiff's claim, that Kleindienst v. Manziel is, is, is directly on point, um, and that if the if the, if the four corners of the executive, or, executive order offer a facially legitimate and bona fide reason for it, which they do here, that, that the court can't look behind that. Well, I, Counsel, I understand that from your, from your papers, and you, and you very forcefully presented that argument. But I'm also asked to look and determine if the executive order is rationally based. And, and rationally based to me implies that, I, to some extent, I have to find it grounded in facts as opposed to fiction. Uh, so there you have it. I think she was uh, even talking about uh, a Chevron deference to uh, executive agencies. Really? Maybe. God. Um, wouldn't that be? <laughs> that would be a hilarious. Lot. But um, I mean, there you have it. I mean, there's no rational reason why. Um, and before some idiot of any stripe says, "But Obama." called them terrorist countries again it was simply saying that if you are from a country 38 of them i think it was who were exempt from having to have a, a visa to enter into the country because the country you come from has used established protocols that allow us to know more about you without having to get a visa if you come from one of those countries, but then attempt to enter the United States from one of these other seven countries, you're going to need to get a visa. Ladies, people, they're bad people. They're dangerous. They don't love us. They don't love us. They hate us. The, the press <laughs> is lying about it. They don't love. And we're going to have people come here that love us. They're not going to do Sharia. And look, I'm a very loving person. <laughs> not a hateful oh, person. So I'm weird. a loving person. It's like a tr Trump, Mitt Romney. <sighs> these, but these 38 countries, they got bad people. <sighs> Call them from the keep them out. 509 area. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right uh, 
Get over here. Got it. So, over. Subscri subscribe.